Hello, Rich Dad Insiders. As one more message to you guys. A question I'm often asked is, how do you know the real value of the dollar? So my answer is, there is a generalized principle that states, unity is plural at minimum two, at minimum two. In other words, what that says is you cannot compare the value of the dollar unless you compare it against something else. And the reason why I like gold and silver is it's giving me the relative purchasing price of the dollar upon a commodity, which is in this case gold or silver or oil, that the whole world deems as valuable. So for you to understand the real value of the dollar, all I suggest you do is you know, check the spot price of gold or spot price of oil or silver on a regular basis and you'll see the fluctuation. The real important question about this question of what the value of the dollar is and why it's important to know is that while our politicians say to you, you know, we want to make sure you have jobs and all that stuff, what they're not telling you is this, is for the U.S. economy or the economy of Japan or Europe or any place in the world to survive, it is better to have a weak dollar or a weak euro or a weak yen. So what that means to you, if the dollar is weak, that means our exports are cheaper, so the U.S. will export more. But what that means to you as the human being or the person living in the U.S. or wherever you live, Estonia or Sweden or France or U.K. or Australia, is by the government's policy of weakening your dollar, it means the cost of living for you goes up. So a weak dollar is good for the economy, but it's bad for you because it makes everything more expensive. So what I suspect the U.S. is doing right now is it, and it is doing, is flooding the market with all of this dollars. I mean, they're just giving money out hand over fist now. They have these programs where you can buy a house and they'll help pay a payment like this. They're trying to weaken the value of the dollar so that foreigners will come in and buy more of our goods and services, which will make our businesses more successful. So it's really good for those who own the business that we have a weak dollar, but it's bad for those who work for the business, same business. So again, that goes back to the ES, the B, and the I. A weak dollar really works good for the Bs and the Is because it makes their investments more valuable but it makes employees and self-employed people life more expensive. So that's kind of my lesson on what's the value of the dollar. You'll never know unless you find a stable comparison every day. So that's why when I get up in the morning, you know, I quickly check the price of the dollar against the price of oil, gold, and silver. And in that way, I kind of get an idea, a rough idea, of what kind of games they are, my government's playing. And I can say it right now to you, is the U.S. government is doing its very, very best to weaken the dollar so that we can export more. But what that's going to mean to you in a few more years is the higher prices of oil and food and gasoline, the cost of living. So that's really what's going to happen. So that's why it's not good at this time in history to be on the E and the S side. It's really better to be on the B and the I side. And if you're going to invest and you know the federal government, the U.S. government is going to weaken the dollar, that probably makes gold and silver more valuable. There's one thing more. One, one thing that's happening more is it looks like the Chinese government are going to give the U.S. dollar and the euro a run for the money. So just what that's going to mean right now, I don't know. But it may mean they'll start dumping dollars because they'd rather have um, more yuan, which is or renminbi, the Chinese currency, or the euro. So the point here is this, pay attention. Watch, I don't have a crystal ball, but whatever the governments are doing, oftentimes they're not, they don't have the employees or the self-employees at heart. They have the big business owners and the, the B's and I's, the investors at heart. So please pay attention. It's a great question. What's the real value of the dollar? Well, it depends upon what you compare it against. So in my opinion, it's gold, oil, and silver. And I predict within the next two years, you'll see oil climbing back up again to all high highs, and that's going to affect the world economy because the entire world's economy runs on oil, and oil will then affect the price of gold and silver. Okay, so that's my that's my answer to what's the real value of the dollar.
quite, the answer is you have to compare it against something else. It takes two things to know what value is. Thank you.